let's get into the tournament then. A uh, first uh, major title for Dimitri, winning the World Match Play on his debut, the first PDC major winner from Belgium, up to number 12 in the world now as well. Does this put him among the elite in the game? I think we have to say it does, and it's it's been a long time coming, which is a weird thing to say for someone who's 26, but it kind of was also for Michael Van Gerwen when he finally broke through, in the PDC at least, because he came over as World Masters champion at He won a few small floor titles over his first few years and made a couple of World Youth Finals, but he didn't really get that big breakthrough until actually Blackpool in 2012, about five years after he switched over, where he threw the nine darter, made the quarterfinals, and followed that up, of course, by winning the World Grand Prix in Dublin uh, a few months later. But it has been a long time coming because we've seen what he could produce in the youth game, winning uh, 12 World uh, 12 uh, development tour titles, winning two world youth titles back to back, only player ever to do that. But he hadn't fully broken through at the senior level. Uh, Just a couple years ago, he was struggling to even qualify for the world championship, just got in in the last weekend. But he kicked on from there last year and qualified for the World Grand Prix for the first time, started to get results on the floor. And we've always known he could get results on the stage with that big run in the world championship a few years ago where he only went out in the quarterfinals to Rob Cross in a fantastic match, nearly knocked out the eventual world champion. We've seen what he could perform on the stage. It was just getting enough consistency in the Pro Tour events to get on the stage more often. He's done that now, and he was the best player over the course of the week. It was a bit surprising that he was able to win the title, considering this is the 32 best players in the field, but it wasn't surprising that this would eventually happen. It was a little sooner than we might have expected, but it was bubbling over, and he got it done. And he was the best player over the week. One match aside, that uh, match against Joe Collin in the second round, every single match was above 98. That's world class. That is the type of standard that you need to win these events. And he's shown that he can do it. He now knows that he can do it. And he'll probably do it again. Maybe not this year, maybe not next year, but he will do it again. Like Rob Cross, it took him a little while to get that second major title after the first one. But another one will come because he is now among the elite in the game. Yeah, I think that's a a fair assessment, really. And when you look at it, well, the first player from Belgium to win a a major title, Eric Claris, winning the World Masters 25 years ago. And we looked at to recent years, you're talking the likes of of Kim Hybrex, who's got to, to a final before couple of finals on, on TV, and more recently, Mario van den Bogaard in the BDO getting to the semi-finals of the World Masters and the World Championship earlier this year. We were probably looking at, at Mario as the, the next Belgian player to win a, a major title, but in terms of potential going forward beyond that, of course, Dimitri van den Berg was the, the leading light, if you like, for, for Belgian darts, and we've spoken about him a few times on this show. We've been doing it a little while now, but we spoke about him after he had that big run to the quarterfinals of the World Championship a couple of years ago now, and We've spoken about him as well when he's won those two World Youth titles that you mentioned back-to-back, winning both finals on the, the big stage, both with 100-plus averages. And, of course, this year as well, he's, he's had a couple of decent runs on the TV going into this tournament. He'd got to the quarterfinals again at the World Championship, just gone quarterfinals of the UK Open as well. And then when he got to the quarterfinals of the World Match Play, that's the only player to have reached the quarterfinals in those three events, the, the last three big major events. So, yeah, he, he is a player that thrives on that big stage. Going into it, did did we expect this to happen? Well, I don't think there's a lot of people that were backing him. 100 to 1 before the tournament. It was, of course, his, his world match play debut. And as you touched on there, qualifying for these big events where it is a condensed field, you've got the top 16, and then the, the next 16 is going to come from the Pro Tour. And when you're not in the top 16 yet, which he now is, of course, which is going to make things easier for him. But when you're not in that top 16, and the only way you've got of qualifying for these events is to perform away from the stage, away from the cameras, it has been a, a, a stumbling block for him, but got to the World Grand Prix last year's debut, made his debut of the World Match Play, and you just got the feeling that if he could go on a big run in one of these big events, get to a final, get to a to win the title, that could push him on completely, and, and that is exactly what we've seen. And got to give a shout-out as well. There's a lot of stats doing the rounds over the weekend, but premium darts data with, I think, one of the best ones that we've seen. He set a new record for the most 100-plus checkouts in a World Match Play with 12, beating... Alan Norris, Phil Taylor twice, and, and James Wade, who'd got 11 before. So that's a, that's very impressive. And as as well, as you mentioned, to go with the, the averages across the, the week as well. Of course, he didn't get going until Tuesday, the last game in the first round. So he played 
played his five games in the space of six days, didn't have much rest at all compared with the other players that played a little bit earlier their first round. So, yeah, this, this certainly puts him among the elite, not just in terms of the rankings, but the way that he's been able to perform over a week-long event. That, that's just proven that he deserves to be where he is right now.